Nadia Suleiman says she made porn, made a porn to save her family. Now joining us, Jessica Drake, who coached Nadia for her first porn. We're calling it a video, I guess. Is it an online download, whatever it might be? Also, I've got my Loveline co-host, Simone Bien, psychosexual therapist. Uh, Nadia, you say this was a positive experience. That's sort of where we ended that last segment. Right. A, why, and B, will you do more of this? A, why was it positive? Because um, prior to doing it, I, you know, I'm severely anxious and nervous and shy. Really? Slow down. I well, don't, you don't know, catch I'm that. very shy. I'm a shy person. <laughs> well, yeah, shy you know, we so. don't catch, but anxiety, anxiety I think everyone gets. Yes. And so prior, when I'm driving there, I drove there, and I, I was so nervous. And mm. when I arrived, I had no idea that the crew would make me so, feel so inc incredibly comfortable. And Jessica very was a part of that. Jessica yes. was coaching you. And yes. Was she and a so good student, or did she... Uh... She was really great. I kind of came about this in... A roundabout sort of way. Uh, my partner, Brad Armstrong, was the director of Nadia's project. And I've done a lot in the educational side of sex lately. Uh, in my career with Wicked, I direct a line of instructional DVDs. And Nadia was given one of those on female masturbation before her shoot. Um, I met with her several times uh, for makeup tests and wardrobe fittings and things like that. And regardless of what maybe I had thought of Nadia uh, before I met her, when I met her, she became very real to me. And I was there for the shoot, and I felt obligated to help her. Uh, my time in the adult industry has been amazing from my standpoint. Uh, I'm contracted to Wicked Pictures. We're distributing Nadia's movie. and. I've been allowed a lot of growth, not just as a performer, but onto the production side. And I wanted her first time in this business. It is a big step for people um, to be involved in it in any area, regardless if it's a, a solo venture or if you're having sex on camera. Um, I just wanted her experience to be as positive as possible, and I wanted her to be able to really take something out of it, really okay. get something out of it for herself. All right, right. so she says it right. puts her more in touch with the sexuality. Simone Vienne, I want to go out to you. You're a psychosexual therapist. I have concerns that Nadia, that although there may be certain aspects to this that uh, she finds positive, there might be not such a glossy underbelly to this. What do you think? I feel incredibly saddened by all of this, actually. I want to go and create a TV show just for Nadia so that she can celebrate all her good qualities, like her intelligence and her ability with children. She's the new super nanny. She doesn't have to go down the porn route. And what makes me incredibly incredibly sad is having met with so many women who either shut down their sexuality or then act out their sexuality because of some kind of emotional trauma this is incredibly shame enhancing this isn't good this isn't a good message to give to your children this isn't a good message to give to society it it, it really really saddens me and I've I've spent time with you, Nadia. I think you're a bigger, better woman than this, and I think you're being exploited, and I think you are smarter, and there are better ways to go and earn money. L let, me, let me reframe that even a little bit and say, you know, one of the things you said is you, you don't like Octomom, and you want to be out of the public. Why not just get a simple job and get out of the public eye? It's just I, have a tried. I have tried numerous times. I, was, I almost finished my uh, license in personal training, and then I found out how much I would be earning. And that's not going to support two children, let alone Why 14. not take some social service aid? I had tried in January. Other food stamps, in addition to food stamps. Yes, but the maximum of that is. And I, I de decline that because the max you go is 900 a month. Mm. That will help you with one or two children. 14 children. So I'm, I'm, it's a catch-22. Have you met with a social worker and I talked have, about this? I have. And okay. they were actually shocked it took me over three years. I know. To, Listen, to, you've right. been a superwoman. Nobody can take that away from you. It's Nobody. Just, it's just every you, mom is a superwoman. It's just woman. people are. I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate no because people out here are going to are going to look at you and doubt yeah. your sincerity because you right. say I don't want I don't like Octomai. I want to stay out right. of the public right. eye. That's now true. I'm doing a porn. The problem being is that I'm the first to admit and take accountability for for for, for eating my words because at the, the, at the end of the day, what all that matters are my children. I'll I get do anything that. to support all them. All right, let's take some calls. Cat in Maryland. Cat. Hi, Dr. Drew and Nadia. Hi. Um. First of all, um, Sonia, your co-host, she said it perfectly how I feel about Simone. this decision for the vi Simone. Yeah. She said it perfectly, but I originally called to encourage Nadia because I was the subject of school bullying. And the things that I hear 
from the media and from just regular people towards you is no different than bullying in school, except it's on a, a much larger scale. Mm. And um, you always handle it with grace. You never fire back no matter what they say. And I just want to encourage you to keep hold of who you are and not listen to that. I worry about what this choice is going to going to do because you're kind of really putting a target on yourself Th right and cat I, I think that's right I think Simone is shaking her head vigorously I mean no no one doesn't like Nadia at least that know her no, everyone wants to help her and her and I know Jessica you're trying to help I get your sincerity but the, the choices she has made all along make for great anxiety and, and it she may burn you out too, Jessica. She sort of burned me out. <laughs> I, I've, tried, <laughs> I've tried to help. But Simone, I'll let you sort of answer back to Kat there. I mean, one thing that I wanted to say, and I'm not at all diminishing what you do, is just that there are people, there are Mormons, certainly in America, who have 10, 12, 14 children. There are people, my father came from a family where there, he had 10 brothers and sisters none of them went into porn and they may do and for you you are a gorgeous woman you are so lovely you are bright you did psych testing you're smart don't <laughs> do this because when you you know and you're in a new relationship this doesn't do your soul any good and you've got to give that message to your kids that you are this incredible mum not that you are it's selling your body because this is what you are doing and exposing yourself like this doesn't get you in touch with your sexuality it is shame enhancing and I speak to you from experience